Hello, welcome to YouTube video. Today we're going to take a look at the team here for the Element Cap Remix Edition here for that one here. We're going to see the Chikorita in the lead, a shadow version as we face off a Lily that's going to boost with the Ancient Power immediately. We're going to have the Sea Leather Seiso up here and we're going to have the Slowpoke in the back. At least that's how I think that the player are going to play it. But we have to take a look at this. I am curious on how good Slowpoke actually going to be here because this boy is going to be very cool in terms of damage output you're going to have confusion which does a ton of damage against everything in the meta nice that actually chikorita still got the lily down here while still maintaining a shield advantage which is crazy but here for example against the bulbasaur bulbasaur has nothing to do against it see a seal coming in as you will be able to go for one confusion the interesting thing about slowpoke i think it's a little bit worse in this meta compared to the usual meta without the remix edition the reason for this is just that, um, well, it's going to be a tough one here, actually. Can they still win this? I, th I think they're going to lose, but I don't know if they can survive one seed bump here. Um, the reason for this is just because you're going to have now a ton more grass type of Felix. Okay, they can still farm it down. That's nice. Um, really weird from the opponent. Uh, you have a ton more grass types. You're going to have also now the dew pile being way more common. And you're going to have also the lick version of the seal more common. So um, basically all the stuff that you don't really want to beat, you kind of have to face now. But also you're going to be able to now face off against something like Vulpix, against something like Slugma. A lot of those um, fire types are available as well, which is nice. And just the confusion itself it doesn't have a single Pokemon really in the meta that resisted. As far as I know, there's not really a dark type available right now. So Slowpoke is a very safe Pokemon, so you could actually consider it as a safe swap here as well, depending on what the opponent is going to bring in. We're going to see a seal coming in. You can go into your own seal because you have Lick and, uh, and they have the um, Eye Shot. You can get a ton of energy and you can just swap out as well if you want to, because you're going to be able to... Yeah, now I would swap out after this one. You're going to be able to just get some farm with your Slowpoke as well. And Slowpoke is pretty safe, but okay, now they're going to swap later on. You only see one shot with on the Slowpoke because there's not more than you really need there, to be fair. You can just shield up the opponent here as well, and you're going to be able to win this game pretty easily. But yeah, you don't really need more than one charge move on the Slowpoke anyway, as Psyshock is the way to go, and Confusion is a fast move to go, so there's nothing that resists the uh, Psychic typing, and otherwise I think you can only learn Water Pulse, which, uh, which is something that you don't really want to use anyway. We see a Vulpix coming in here against this little seal boy. We're going to see the boy slam coming through, going to do a nice amount of damage, but you can still take two. Well, I don't think that the opponent can take two awkward tails, definitely not. They're going to go down here and we will see the opponent coming to their own seal where you can now align your um, Slowpoke later on against, I guess, or your Chikorita. Depends on really what you want to play. You can go for the debuff here, which does make a ton of sense. You can not get to another debuff, which is kind of sad. They're going to have a ton of energy now. That's why I most likely would have actually went into the Slowpoke, but I guess it's fine. You're going to have to deal with two icy ones here. You're going to let, let the second one go through. This will not knock you out. Let's see what's going to happen here. You're going to see that the opponent lagged, which helps you a lot, I guess, because this guy now won't see the game. Um, we will see what they have on the back here still. Uh, or not. I think they just quit <laughs> it because, like, yeah, there was nothing that the opponent could have done here. What is interesting is Dupider. Here's actually a normal Chikorita, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> interesting that it just changed from Shadow to normal. We will see that you will be able to go for some body slams against this boy, but you're going to have a double weakness against the Dupider, which might be a little bit tricky, but you're going to still be able to go for another body slam here, which is going to get some damage on them, and you can go into your seal and lick them down, I guess as you might actually want to go for an awkward tail but no you can just let this move go through We're going to be a bubble beam and you will be able to lick them all the way down as we see pumpkaboo coming in you will be able to go for an icy wind trying to debuff them and you're going to swap out now most likely or you're going to stay in here well whatever i would have swapped out most likely but i'm not sure if this actually helps you a little bit more you have to farm them all the way down now with confusion though and you will be able to do this actually which is nice you have two shields advantage here right now this can still go wrong though because yeah two shields advantage only help you if you actually can knock them out the opponent and we see a growlith coming in here at the end and this will still survive one move. Can you KO them? No, you cannot KO them. It was the Hesuian version of the Growlithe. And you're gonna go down. Next opponent, we will see the Vulpix. Vulpix is a Pokemon that you definitely don't want to see in the lead. We can go for one Icy Wind here. The Icy Wind will be able to get the shield from the Chikorita. And you should be able to shield this move up, I guess. 
you don't you're gonna go for the they're gonna go for the bait which is nice for you you could shield up this one at least to get another shield but actually you can still get to the awkward tail i don't know if they know this is not, um the icy wind and they don't don't you're actually gonna get a two shield advantage which is amazing especially for both of your pokemon if there's nothing really that you are too scared of you're going to be able to also catch the fire move here on your slow poke you will be able to farm down the vulpix here you're gonna do way more damage than they do you might have to invest both shields though into this matchup which might hurt you but you're actually going to go for the charge move which i think is actually the correct call here because you can keep your shield you can keep the confusion damage in your um lead there as well your chikorita still has a ton of energy we see the razor leaf either here against you one body slam should easily knock them out as your both shadows and you will see the last chikorita there coming in and they're going to surrender here good game to the opponent there was nothing that they can do there for mantis actually a cool pokemon to use i might want to make a video about it. i don't know i still need one video for this um, meta here the rest i kind of planned out so we will see here that you can go for one charge move going to be the body slam um for mantis is a pure grass type but um going to be actually interesting like for this team this is kind of horrible for you to deal with like for mantis because i think gets so fast to leaf blade but for other teams it's going to be pretty awkward to play with because you have the Vulpix meta, you have Slugma in the meta, you're going to have the Dewpoint in the meta, and all of them are kind of hard walls for it. We see a Ferro Seed here, which is a cool Pokemon. I really like Ferro Seed. This Pokemon has access to Tackle and Iron Head, which is a very unique one there. As we see the opponent going for an Ancient Power here. Didn't get the boost this time around, but they're going to have to shield up this Ice move anyway. You should be able to get a shield here, and you will be able to get the shield. As they're going to go for another charge move here, which is going to be the Ancient Power most likely. Which, no, it's going to be the Grass Knot. You're going to go to your Chikorita, which I think was... No, it was actually the right call. You can get to the move. I didn't expect this whatsoever, but you will be able to now farm them all the way down before they can go for another charge move. The Ferro Seed is coming through. This is resisted. They don't learn a single grass move. Sadly, it's going to be the Iron Head. Still going to do a ton of damage. This will be also resisted, but I think you're going to be in a good spot here as this is nearly going to knock out the opponent and you will be able to win this game just barely there. Next opponent, we will see the next opponent going to be um, using Chikorita against Seal. Very good lead for you. Very good lead for you. Of course, you can just stay in here. They're going to swap out into their Vulpix and you have your Seal for that. Um, Vulpix against Seal should be a pretty fine one for you. Vulpix with Quick Attack just is so annoying usually though that you... If they shield here, it's going to be a little bit interesting, but they, they're actually going to shield here. You can let the next move go through and you're going to get two shields advantage and I think you can actually still win but okay you're going to shield this move up you're going to go for the aqua tail you're going to go for the safe route and i think you should be able to reach the next one in time as well then you're also going to get them super low i think you can just farm them all the way after this one you just shield and farm them down you're going to go for the boys them there they actually can still get to another one they will be able to flip the switch here which is insane Vulpix is just so broken in this meta it's kind of crazy in the two shields, like there's not a lot that you, they can do about it. As we see a Litri coming in, this Pokemon will be able to hard world Chikorita, but still you can do a ton of damage against it because it's squishy. But this looks like a loss here unless the side shock damage is actually enough to put, put them into range where you can farm them all the way down here, which doesn't seem to be the case, but I'm not sure. We will see that they go for the awkward here. They don't go for the debuffing move, which is an interesting choice. So you will be able to farm them down. And you can take two more moves here from the Litwick. You will be able to go knock them out with the Psyshock here. And this is going to be a good game. Very well played there, actually. Next opponent, we will see the Vulpix. So Vulpix is going to be, again, a horrible play for you. A horrible Pokemon to face. They're going to stay in for a little bit. They can go for the Body Slam and they will be able to do a ton of damage against you. And they're going to swap out, trying to catch the move on their seal. Didn't work out, but still you're in a pretty tough spot here. As you will have to go for the Icy Wind here to debuff the opponent twice. But they can just farm you all the way down, to be fair. And then they have Icy Wind for your... Oh, actually, they cannot farm you down. You just got the bulk point from the last Icy Wind that they don't do any damage anymore with their fast move. And you just barely miss out on uh, your next charge move there, which was kind of sad. As we see them going for an Icy Wind, they will be able to farm them all the way down here. As we see the opponent coming into one Dewpider, which is something that you really didn't want to face here. You're debuffed, so you kind of want to swap out eventually, I guess. But you're going to stay in here and going to go for two moves. 
Going to see if they're going to shield this move up as well. They do not shield any move up here. Can you just farm them all the way down? You will be able to go for another charge move here. You can let this move go through. It's just a bubble beam. And you will be able to farm them all the way down. Can Slowpoke still win this? We see the Vulpix coming in here. We will see one charge move coming in through. But Vulpix might be just a little bit too spammy. A little bit too hard hitting with a fast move here. But I'm not sure. Let's see what they can do here. We see the shield coming up. We see the body slam coming through. You debuffed. You're going to get another move through here. As they're gonna go for another body stem. I think you can farm them all the way down and you will be able to farm them all the way down. So Slowpoke seems to be a little bit better than I expected it to be. We see an auto shield in the lead. This is a positive lead for you, I think, because you can go for the body slam here. And even you could snipe it with your Slowpoke, but they're going to shield this move up anyway. At least you're going to have to you have to shield this move up as well. Like at least you're going to face it here because this Pokemon is something that you really don't want to face in your backline. Let's see if they're going to let this move go through. They are shielding this move up as well. This is awkward because now you have to go into your slowpoke and try to farm them all the way, which is going to hurt a little bit. But we see the seal coming back in here. You're going to have some um, health advantage here coming into this matchup as they had to take two confusions. But you will go for the ice went a little bit uh, slower than the opponent went for it. As one comes through, going get the debuff here on the opponent. You will try to go for another one as they're going to go ahead and go for their own ice event. You might gonna go, you're gonna get to the next one here. This might give you another bulk point that they do less damage with their fast move. Let's see. I think it does. And now they're gonna go back into their Oddish, which is horrible for you. You have to farm them down. You're basically dead already. And I think, yeah, you're going to surrender here. There's nothing that they could have had in the back, which you would have one-shotted, so. Good game there, sadly you cannot win them all. Next opponent, horrible lead for you again, Vulpix again. As we see a Chikorita coming in, you can go for the Icy Wind in time, which is amazing. As this will get them pretty low, or you're going to get the shield here, which is even better. Seal as a safe swap it seems to be one of the safest ones here in this meta. Um, definitely something that I would recommend you as well to use. As we see the opponent going for one body slam here. Gonna do some nice damage. You have a shield advantage. You can try to over farm. You over farm a little bit too much, I guess. As they go for another body slam. Now you can over farm even more. You're gonna go for the body slam now. You have a ton of energy. This will knock out the opponent. You have a shield advantage. You're going to see the Vulpix coming back in. You're gonna go down to this next fast move, which was kind of sad here, to be fair. So you will, your yeah, one other move will go to waste. But we see a poison tap in the back, which will allow you to farm them all the way down. You can just shield up the seed bomb and this next confusion will knock them out and you can also confusion down the opponents of Vulpix here. There's nothing, nowhere to hide for them as this next confusion will get them close or maybe not. They have a more energy than I thought and they're actually going to knock you out with the next one here. You're going to die again for the second time with a charge move here, just barely losing this match with a 1 HP in the dream. As we see the final match here against the Dupite again. This is horrible. You have to stay in here. You're going to go straight for the body slam it feels like. Or like you're going to at least go up to the grass and then go for the boy slam. They should get the shield to be fair. And it does get the shield because if the if you would hit the grass not like you can do now, this would do a ton of damage. And they're going to shield this move up sadly as well. So now you're going to have to go into your seal. Seal will be able to take all the moves here so you don't really have to shield it up. But it's still going to be a matchup that you don't really want to be in. As the bug by is stab and going to do a ton of damage here. Mirror code coming up, a good shield then for you as you can go ahead and go for the full farm down, I think. It's going to be a bubble beam. Very smart to just farm them all the way down. You're going to swap out most likely immediately now into your slow poke, depending on. Yeah, we're actually going to go for the move here. Going to go for the icy wind. Icy wind will be able to debuff the opponent, which I guess does make a ton of sense here. Also puts them in range for one side shock against the Wooper. The spoiler sim will get unshielded, and you can go ahead and go for a charge move here. As we see a Vulpix coming in, they will not appreciate this one. They still survive it though. But what you can do now is you can just shield this move up, try to farm them all the way down. Or you're just going to farm them down without shielding this move up. And you can go for one charge move here, which will knock out the opponent. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for sending in those builds. Leave a like on the video if you haven't done this yet. And see you in the next one. Bye.